Hi, I'm Courtney and I'm the Clinical Specialist in Anesthesia here at Burton's. Hypothermia is a really common complication in our patients that are under general anesthesia. And one way we can manage that is with active warming techniques. So, let's take a look at the Hot Dog Veterinary Patient Warming System. The Hot Dog Veterinary Warming System is unlike any other warming system we have on the market. It is one of the most durable and cost-effective systems with conductive fabric in their heat mounts that allows for even heat distribution. So once again, we're not gonna get hot spots or pressure points when we use this mat correctly. So with our patient controller here, we've got a seven inch touch screen, which allows us to individually manage each blanket that we have attached. Now this system that I have, it only serves one blanket. However, one of our other models, you can actually plug four different blankets into the unit and then manage them individually on the screen. So it's really good for a very busy recovery area or for a very busy hospital. There's quite a few alarms with the hot dog and one of the alarms is if the patient isn't sitting directly on the sensor that we'll take a look at soon, if it accidentally disconnects or if the temperature gets too hot. So taking a look at the patient blankets now, there's actually five sizes available and this is the medium one. So there's two smaller and then two larger again. Now, as you can tell, these blankets run silently and there's no hot air that will blow around the surgical site or in the eyes of your patient while they're under anesthesia on the operating table. Conveniently, it comes with a really long four meter long cord. So it means you can keep this patient controller quite a distance from your patient's kennel. As soon as you plug in the unit and select what temperature you would like uh, the heat mat to get to, it will reach that temperature within three minutes. And we can actually set the temperature range on these mats from 37 degrees up to 43 degrees. Now when you use these mats, you'll see how flexible they are. So they can go under the patient, they can go over the patient, and then if you have a patient small enough as well, you can actually fold them up and use a clip to keep them nice and warm, like a literal hot dog. So when it comes to using your warming device with your patient, on the back of the patient controller is the off and on switch, which is nice and obvious. So just flick that on and then you'll end up with your screen looking like this. Be sure to select the correct size blanket for your patient. So if your patient is too big, then the mat will not provide sufficient warming for them, it will be quite ineffective. And then if your patient is too small, they're likely to move off the sensor. So this sensor here on the black side that's facing up must be, the patient must be making contact with us at all time. So what you do is once your machine is flicked on is you just need to plug in the patient controller to the mat and you'll see here that you've got two red dots and you just need to make them align and push them in. Just don't twist. Our machine now says it's ready to warm. So if we, we only have mat A here on the system. So if we just select that and then we turn our temperature on, we can see that we start at 37 degrees and then we can warm all the way up. So if you have a patient that does require treatment for hypothermia, it's recommended that you do start on 40 degrees Celsius. If you would like to put this, pa this blanket over the patient, then you can go up to a setting of 42 but you will be prompted just to make sure that you're not using the blanket at such a high temperature while the patient's sitting on it. So this is only for if the patient is under it. There doesn't need to be any barrier between the patient and the blanket, so you don't need to put a fleece blanket on there. The manufacturing instructions don't recommend that, so they can make full contact with this pad here that is really flexible, as you can see. If you would like to make a hot dog with your patient, just make sure that you've got the safe temperature. So we'll go back down to 40 degrees. And then when we fold up our hot dog blanket with our patient in the middle, we can secure it with these clips here. So we do that just by literally flipping it over and pulling another one, flipping it over and then securing it around the patient. And you can actually fold them all the way up like that. Thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to know more or get your own hot dog veterinary warming system for your practice, just click the link in the description below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.